that you should make to not be able to get to sleep properly. <laughs> I didn't do my last late night stretch, which is fantastic. I literally uh, stretch each muscle for three minutes. I set a timer and stretch for three minutes. Didn't do that. I had two double espressos um, yesterday. Uh, haven't been taking my magnesium and um, was on my phone right up until I went to bed. So all the things that you shouldn't do, I did. And I paid the price because I couldn't fall asleep to two o'clock this morning. And um, the problem with that is, apart from feeling knackered, is that it's proven that people that don't sleep well eat more calories. You know, you know how it feels, and you? you feel tired, you have a little something, a little something to pep you up, a little something to put, oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of toast, or oh, I'll have an apple. And then before you know it, you've um, you've consumed hundreds of extra calories. So I've got to be mindful of that today. But I, I like to do, mon I like on Mondays to do um, bone broth day. So I'm going to start my day as I mean to go on. And I'm going to take a nap at some point in the day because I'm working from home today. So I'm going to have my ginger, turmeric and lemon tea now. Then I'm going to make uh, a really nice vegetable and chicken broth soup. And I'll have that for lunch. And then for dinner, I'll have another bowl of vegetable and chicken broth soup. And I will also have some roast chicken and some green beans. And then if I really want it, I'm going to have a handful of raspberries and some dark chocolate. You, you remember I talk about Hannah all the time. This this day's plan is a plan that, she's, that she gave me. Actually, it's in her book, the book that I follow, The Best Possible You. Um, so I'm going to do that today. And uh, did I say I'm going to do a green juice? Yeah, so I'll get broccoli, spinach, celery, cucumber, ginger, and I'll put it all through the juicer. So I'm going to do that today, and hopefully that will put me on the straight and narrow, because, again, if I'm honest, I've grazed on carbs again over the weekend. I need to go to a meal plan. This isn't working, me freestyling it, because I'm not getting enough good food. I'm tending to have a carb, a couple of oat cakes or something, and then... Oh, I'll have a couple of oat cakes. Mum, I'm hungry. So then I have three or four oat cakes, and then I'll have a banana. I mean, not all of it's good stuff, but I'm not having proper meals. And so that's why it's all going a bit tits up, basically. Ah, oh, I just um, stood here with the doors open. So I got the, uh, well, it's not really fresh air because I live right on the main road, <laughs> but I got air <laughs> and did my stretch with the car map. Eight minutes. I've only just started this. Uh, the I didn't realise that uh, Calm has a body section to it. So I've just done my eight minute stretch, and I'm going to do my meditation now. I was reading all your comments last night. You are funny, you lot. You're so protective of Mark, and um, a lot of you have told me to stop nagging Mark about meditation because he doesn't want to do it. Thing is about Mark that I know that you don't yet know about Mark, is that he loves to be nagged. He loves it. It's like a sport with him. It literally is. So deep down, what he wants more than anything is for me to nag him about the meditation. So though you were all advising me that I should stop nagging him because it wasn't fair and he doesn't want to do it, I am actually going to stop nagging him. I'm not going to say anything about it. Let's see if he wants to do a meditation now. <laughs> Bet you he does. So, frantically busy day today. Um, oh, mentally taxing um, and slightly emotionally taxing too. Um, it's midday. I've got virtually no steps. Well, no, that's a lie. I've got a quarter, no, two, a third of my steps. Um, Nadia is uh, planning hits and all sorts of things later. We've got a screening, a special preview screening tonight of a movie for uh, the film side of our channel. And um, how am I feeling on a Monday morning? 
Uh, it's been one of those Monday mornings where I've just literally had my head locked into my computer for three, four hours. None of it to do with anything that's vaguely enjoyable, like making stuff for you guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, tricky. I haven't even, haven't had a hunger pang. I'm beginning to hope that the lack of eating anything I want is shrinking my stomach somewhat. Um, I have had a uh, oat milk cappuccino and, a, oh God, here I go, Islington wanker, um, oat milk cappuccino and a double espresso. Um, I'm hooking up uh, with Nadia again for lunch um, and then we're going to see see what the plan is from there. Another busy afternoon this afternoon, head down and I, I'm going to try and do that thing of walking every hour at least 250 steps. I mean, I think that's the best thing you can do. So even if you're working in an office, I've, you know, I've worked in offices lots, but, you know, if you work in an office, best just to get up and perhaps just go by the stairs down to the ground floor and then come all the way back up and walk around the office and then sit back down again. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for all of your lovely, lovely comments over the weekend. Um, you know, I, I have a separate YouTube account called Doghouse and, and it's just really nice just to... Nadia does a lot of that side of it because I'm doing all of the editing and making of the stuff. Uh, so she kind of attends to that, but she always shares with me your messages. And obviously at times I go online and I, I check them too. So they're really meaningful and it's really nice that you, you're appreciating the amount of sort of content we're putting out, but also the, 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 we're hoping to put out a variety of different content. We don't ever want it to be samey. I mean, the weird thing is I make programs of television channels uh, and I've always kind of wanted to run my own television channel. And so um, in a micro way, here we go. Ah, so Kiki and I just did a nice walk. We went for breakfast, didn't we? She's, <laughs> bless her. She's still covering her head where I burnt her when I waxed her. It's almost gone. I burnt my finger in sympathy. Look, look at that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so those of you who don't know, both my girls are home educated, which means that they do some of their work at home here with me and Mark and some of their stuff within groups. And today they don't have any groups, do you? you don't have any groups. So we are going to, so we've just done a power walk um, down the road where they had breakfast. Kiki had a bacon sandwich, which was agonising, and Maddie had a sausage sandwich. which was, Actually, I say it was agonising, but it wasn't actually really, because I wasn't hungry. If I'd had it, it would have just been because bacon sandwiches are delicious and not because... Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just pinched that under my arm. Oh, my God, that really hurt. <laughs> Oh my god, I've got a bruise. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so I just had um, an oat cappuccino, and like I said, I'm going to make a, a bone broth vegetable soup. Is there any way I'm going to convince you to have a vegetable soup with me, Kiki? No. Right. So yeah, Mark's really busy today. He has got meetings and is filming, so we probably won't hear much from him in today's vlog. Um, so Kiki, at some point, is going to help me make some Am I? thing. I thought we could cook a recipe for the subs. Okay. A nice healthy recipe together. And uh, so we'll be showing you something uh, healthy that you can make. And uh, I thought I might share with you what I do with my stretching. Isn't her room adorable? Topic. I'm afraid somebody's very, very annoyed with us because we left them out of that last bit of filming. Say hello to the subs then. Subs, can you please say hello to her? <laughs> she knows that we went out and down for a coffee without taking her. And she knows that where we went, you can actually take dogs. But um, we just couldn't bear the stress of it. Because she's the naughtiest dog. Who's the naughtiest dog? <laughs> hey? Oh yeah, that is one thing I did that was really naughty. Maddie only ate half of her sausage sandwich and I took a bit of sausage and ate it. And I'm really trying not to pick. I just want to eat my meals and not pick. Are you a picker? You know what? You can pick thousands of calories without even realizing picking is the devil. Isn't it, Toffee? I mean, she loves it. That's a bit dirty. <laughs> Subs. I thought that was from yesterday. Works fine, it's only tomato. Don't be oh, annoying, right. what do you know about stuff? 
Well, I know that that looks like it's been in there for longer than a day. Are you complaining before I've even started? I didn't know that was part of a new recipe. Mark doesn't deserve me because Mark is really fancying pizza and really fancying crisps. Really? So I thought I would make these two substitutes and show you as well. So, crispy kale, don't we all bloody hate it? Yeah. We do. But I finally mastered getting good kale crisps. I bought some kale crisps the other day and however attractive I thought they were going to be wild. Yeah. Actually, I've got a really good tip. I had such a gorgeous salad the other day in Soho House. Very posh, my dears. Very mm. posh by ITV uh, Studios. And it was filled with kale, this salad. I thought, oh my God, this is going to be disgusting. But they'd obviously done the trick. So I went home and I Googled it. I thought, how did they make that kale so soft? What you do is you massage, and I'm not kidding you when I say this, you massage the kale. Just going to put a little drizzle. Remember, I do believe in fat. I don't believe in no fat diets. I think they make you depressed. And that is good olive oil and it's not as bad as fry crisps. Right, so what you do is you massage the kale. You literally massage it, crushing the leaves a little. That kale's getting more treatment than I've ever had. Do you want a, a mass massage? From a masseuse. Do you want a mass do you want a massage, babe? I mm. can crush you a little, like I'm crushing the kale. <laughs> you? Uh, no, no, this no, is no, what no, I'd no, have no, to no, do. <laughs> yeah, so you do that and you massage it in. And then you put it in a bowl with a lid on it, put it in the fridge overnight, and it goes really lovely and soft, and it's delicious in a salad. So you see I've taken all those really woody stalks out. Look, subs, look at this. When it's that hot, is. the lightsabers light up, and when it's cold, they go down. What they need is to give it a sound that goes <laughs> Nice salt, nice proper sea salt, not, not horrible salt. Sprinkle that on. Right. right, the oven at 220, nice high oven, because where I was going wrong before when I was trying to make kale crisps, I thought, oh, you'd have to do it on a nice slow oven. So okay. they're gonna go in for 15 minutes and then we'll have nice crisps, okay? So they're going in, really, um. 15, 20, I'll check it after 10 and I'll give it a stir. Right, so he's fancying crisps, aren't you, little one? Let me get a shot of you. So you've had a horrendous morning at work, haven't you? Yes. So are you happy that I'm making you pizza and crisps? I am excited about the words pizza and crisps. <laughs> I'm not excited about the words kale and no gluten. <laughs> okay, let's show this show us what we're using. I've done this before. It doesn't look like anything, it looks like I, air. I used this before ages ago on Instagram. It and like paper. You didn't have any, but me and Maddie, Maddie liked it. Right. This is the most unique, hashtag this is not an ad, hashtag I'm not being paid. Look at that, right? So, you've got to get out of your head Domino's. It ain't Domino's, it ain't Pizza Express, it ain't Pizza Hut. This is affordable for your body pizza. What? Nothing about that looks attractive. <laughs> right, it's 39 calories, fat-free, low-carb, gluten-free, high-fiber, high-protein. Okay? So, all you, there it is. So, on that, I'm going to put some of the lovely sauce that Mark reminded me has been there since yesterday. But that's Her face fine. is currently as inexpressive as that. So, I made this tomato sauce the other day. Yeah. And it's got just a bit of garlic and olive oil, salt and pepper. Could put herbs on. You're not a big fan of herbs, are you, Mark? You don't yeah, know. I love herbs. Oh, do you want some oregano yeah, on it? Yeah, I'm a mixture of herbs. Okay, so oregano. Mixed herbs, would you like, my darling? Okay. Now you're patronising me. No, I'm not. Mixed herbs, if you like mixed herbs. Because we've only spent 39 calories in that, I'm gonna put lots of ham. Look at this, babe. Mm. Lots of protein. It's gonna be amazing. Fill this you is up. actually nice. It looks like polystyrene, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it looks literally like polystyrene. Let's have a little real, look at that, guys. Looks like actual polystyrene. Feels, feels like polystyrene. <laughs> Smells smell like polystyrene. Anything. I'm gonna salt, I've just got some wilted spinach, because Mark likes, but really important just to put a bit of seasoning again, otherwise it will just taste bleh. Black pepper, let's put a little bit on there. So I'm gonna put some spinach, yeah. like that. Okay, can you guess why I'm making a, why am I, why am I making that gap in the middle? Well, you might be doing one of two things. You might what? be putting in some fake cheese. No. Or you might be cutting the middle out so it's even less calorific. No. All right, okay. I am 
Making a space for an egg. An egg. Ah, a dark egg. An egg bed. So I'm just Is it an egg bed. Egg bed. It's an egg bed. What's that so I'm about? just putting just a bit of very strong cheddar, so we don't have to use too much cheese. Because Mark A dairy is not great for him because because of his eczema, and B lots of cheese obviously is fattening. I'm going to put lots more Parmesan because it's very strong. So, and it will make it feel really cheesy. Are you starting to get more excited, Mark? I'm almost about to pass out with hunger. Okay. I haven't actually eaten anything yet today. Right, that's going in. What time is it? For 10 minutes. What time is it? Two o'clock and I haven't eaten. Well, that's why you're starving, it's ridiculous. Oh, look, smell that kale. It's a great smell, kale, isn't it? I am being sarcastic. <laughs> Show me a mangry face. <laughs> I don't need to show you my. <laughs> show me a mangry face. It's just my normal face. Show me a mangry face. Show me a mag mangry run. Run around the house. No, I can't. Go on, because it makes me laugh. I can't run around the house. <laughs> oh, you really are mangry. Oh, I can't run. Look, look what I've done. Oh, my look. Oh, that smells and looks lovely. It's ready for the egg. Mark's a big fan of the duck egg. You know why? Why are you a fan of the duck egg? Because they go why? quack. No, because they're bigger. That's why you oh, like so I'm an addict. The skin, it, the shell is so much harder to get through. Oof. Goes the egg. Little black pepper. And then we go back in the oven. I don't know why I'm doing Italian accent. I just can't help you when I'm doing the black pepper. How do you get the egg cooked and the pizza not burnt? You do it. Oh, oh. How much that's reduced? I should have done two trays. How long does that go in for? Maybe eight minutes. We'll see. Mmm! Is that oh it? Oh my god, that... it's so delicious. No, you want you to try them? I'm going to film you trying them. Go on then. <gasps> Kale crisps. Ooh. Oh, is that nice. a little smile from yeah. his little face? That is really nice. Oh, because I thought the ones you get in packets are disgusting. Disgusting. I mean, absolutely effing disgusting. Yeah. So I must admit, when you started saying you're going to do kale crisps, I thought, oh, God. But hang on. Oh, I like those. Don't pile them all in a bowl while they're still hot because the steam will make them go soft and you want them oh. crispy. So you've got to wait till it's cool. Okay. Oh, my God, that's so good. They're nice, aren't they? They're not bitter in that nope. sort of sharp, bitter way that they can be. Mm. I'll tell you what, Subs, it's almost like, you know when you get seaweed from the Chinese? Yes. Yeah. It's almost like that, isn't it? That's so good. Just follow up. Years I've been making this wrong. Delicious. Kale must be bone dry. If it's a bit damp, if you've just washed it, yeah. and you put it in the oven, you're just going to get limp. Ah. Bone dry, put the oil in, really rub it in, mm. nicely seasoned. I'm going to say, I'm going to put it, I am a crisps fan. Mm. I'm a vegetable crisps fan. No one else is mm. in this family. They are bloody lovely. And she's eating them, so I'm taking them over here. <laughs> really good, thanks babe. Really good. So Maddie's gonna try it. Mm. Go on. Not bad? It's so salty. Salty. Okay, another one. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yay! Oh. Down in the Down in the Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that ever again. See, Look Kiki. at our girls working away. Kiki doing a Vivian Westwood project. No. <laughs> do you not like it? You can say, darling. Here we go. Lunch time for my very mangry husband. It's coming through. Pizza traveling. Pizza traveling. He so doesn't want to smile. Thank you very much. Oh, it's quite kind of doughy. Yeah. Let's just have a look at it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, I mean, I can't. There's so much flavour on top, it's almost redundant what's underneath it. Do you know what I mean? It is merely a carrier 
it for is. the flavoursome topping. I mean, that's what you're after, though, isn't it? You're, you're after a sort of base, base, biscuit base. Sort of a buttery, buttery biscuit, biscuit base, base. yeah. But this isn't about having masses of dough, no, because no. we know we can't, because we can't have all those carbs because we're not running a marathon. But what it does do, it does, excuse me, it does deliver a sort of doughiness. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. You've actually accomplished the impossible, which has vaguely cheered me up. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. It's really tasty. And you I mean, see, you but also the, um, the the herbs works a treat. I mean, it's just full of. I mean, I don't want to sound like Greg Wallace, but it's <laughs> it's got bags of flavour, <laughs> bags of flavour, bags of texture, bags of wonderful things going on, zinging around the mouth, blowing my brains out. It's really good. And you're no longer mangry. No. Because you were too stressed this morning to eat and then you got yourself too hungry. And I've angry. just been focused. I've literally been head down well, for hours. No, no, you've I've had a lot to do. I've literally got a bad head. Yeah. I, need, I need some kind of massage. I mean, that kale got a better massage than I've ever had. But the thing is, Mark, you don't let yourself have massages. You don't let yourself take 10 minutes to have breakfast. That's where it all goes wrong. Oh, man. Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> Mangriness leads to hate. Hate leads to... I love the way Toffee just gradually, Maddie, loses interest the more and more I've eaten. So the less there is on my plate, the more her head just disappears and moves round. Look, she just kn now. she knows that it's less and less likely that she's going to get a look in. So guys, haven't managed to get to the gym, haven't managed to do that once in the last two weeks. Haven't done uh, the hit that I was going to do from YouTube, so I'm just going to do, I'm just going to blast some music and just jump around a bit on my rebounder because as long as your heart's pumping, you're a little bit out of breath and you're having fun, that's all you need. <laughs> There you go. Seven minutes. I'm gonna do seven minutes again later. This is like you, Mark, when you're hungry. She is quite similar. <laughs> Must be, must be almost four o'clock. <laughs> Babe? Yeah? We're off to the cinema, which, what's the drawback again to the cinema as much as we have to go to the cinema because we're the popcorn junkies? Well, this cinema is not like going out just for fun, this is work. No, this is we're work, reviewing. we're going to the screening rooms and so but yeah. what is the physical drawback of going to the cinema? We can't exercise. Precisely. We it's can't have a proper dinner because it's a weird time. True. So we'll be eating at a weird time again. True. Because you had your pizza at a weird time. It was a weird pizza, but it was but lovely. But when you go to private screening room subs, this is the this is the bonus of them. Yeah. There's no popcorn. There's nothing. No. Apart from you a just, very comfy seat. You just go room. in and you just watch it and you're out. There's no... Do you even no, know what we're going to see? Mid-90s and I'm not looking forward to it. Why? Because the girl said the boy's really abusive to the brother and oh, I get no, really it's upset. Not, it's not like that. It's, it's just, horrible it's, to him. It's a good coming of age film. I think it's going to be And it's directed by Jonah Hill, who's the big actor in Wolf of Wall Street. It's his yeah. directorial debut. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm sure it'd be good, but it's cold. It's I prefer cold. to just be at home cooking um, a nice dinner, to be honest. And can, can, you just, can I just ask you, what's, how much are you loving hearing everything about Brexit? Doesn't that make you want to exercise? <laughs> Brexit just make you want to eat. <laughs> just really does, doesn't it? Does, it doesn't make sure you want to have eggs. We want eggs! Brexit. We want a Brexit! 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 But the other thing is, I've just found out I've got going to work tomorrow. Because they're down somebody tomorrow. And the thing is, it's discombobulated me. Because I haven't got food organised, haven't got anything organised. You know, Subs, you're so right. Lots of people were commenting last night saying that we really need the to get plan. our plan sorted. Why don't we do that tomorrow? And we do. Why don't we do it later tonight? Yeah. 
going to work out each night what we're having the next day. Not a whole week because we're not those sort of people. No. Things change too much. No. We're freelancers. We yeah. never know what's happening one day to the next. But we certainly know the night before what's happening the next day. Yeah. We would, Mark and I were just talking about a friend of ours who um, lost her way. Should we say it like that? Yeah. Lost her way this weekend with her resolutions. Basically, she got blind drunk and had to keep... <laughs> And she's devastated because she now has to throw everything out the window. And we were saying, weren't we? Why is it that we do that as humans? We have a stumble and we think, okay, let's throw every, let's throw the baby out with the bathwater. I think we create these arbitrary um, ways of categorizing things. So yeah. it's a bit like the New Year's resolution. You think, why do we only make New Year's resolutions on New Year's Day? Why is there, um, you know, every day is potentially the start of another year. A new day, it's a new and day. And it's a new day, exactly. So I do think there's this idea that if you fail, I mean, you often say it, if I've eaten the wrong thing in the day or whatever, you say, start now. Now, I know you say that and I can hear the logic of it and it's quite liberating the thought of it, but I, I, I rarely find I'm able to go and go, yeah, yeah, all right, I'll start now. Well, do you know what? I sort of, what Mark's just said there, I have had my heart warmed so many times reading in the comments Honestly, Mark, I don't know if you've seen these comments seen where few, people have people said, said oh, I so had this, I did that, and I just thought of you, Nadia, and I just started again straight after it. And that's oh, what that's we've good. been... Yeah, I know, I was really that chuffed about that. Because actually, the other day when I found myself stuffing a load of crisps in my mouth, I just stopped and reminded myself, I went, I went stop. But we were saying to this friend of ours, listen, just start again now. Start again today. You wanted to not drink for the whole of January. Well, okay, you drank on Saturday, but that doesn't mean that all is lost. Why don't we have a little confessionary session now? Let's confess up to what we've maybe indulged in. I'll tell you anything, the things that I've had that I've perhaps thought, oh, I won't tell Nadia about that. Go on then. Uh, perhaps two more cubes of chocolate than I should have, dark chocolate. That's all right. Perhaps two more naked blueberry bars than I should have. That's all right. No, but what's the should? What do you mean? We try should? not to say should. What do you mean? The, the should, should of tyranny. The tyranny, the tyranny of, of should. The tyranny of should. I don't think we should say should. Okay, no, no, not should. Well, okay, but I'm telling you the things. More than that you I, meant to. Yeah, more than I'm more than I meant to. But what have you? What have you indulged? Is that all? In? That's it. Oh God. That's it. I'm well, I've think definitely that. overindulged in oat cakes. And I don't know if anyone else, uh, if anyone else um, identifies with this. Do you mean rice? You can s no oat cakes. You know those lovely ones with the extra seeds. Oh yes, yes. Um, yeah, I've done that thing where I've come in, not wanted to cook, not wanted to eat when you were all eating, but then started cooking, felt a bit hungry, had a, oh I'll have an oat cake, or oh, I'll have a little spoonful of peanut I've butter. I've you you do do that thing where you'll take a piece of something and not even be mindful going into your mouth. You did that with the Yule log. And then when, we, and then when we told you, you, you went into a sort of reverie of, oh, God, No, yeah. I do. It's like the other day when I found myself with those Doritos in my mouth. I mean, that would be awful if I had moments like that with alcohol, wouldn't it? Because I'd forever be finding myself yeah. having drunk. Yeah. But because I'm the one that cooks and because I'm in the kitchen, yeah, it's very easy harder, to pick. And I think a lot of people will identify with that. Yeah. So then what I've done is I've gone, oh, well, I'll just have a little oat cake. Or just have another half an oat cake. Or I'll, put, I'll have a little spoonful of peanut butter. Because the thing is with me, I quite often don't want a meal, but I'm a little bit hungry. So I have a little something, and then I have a little something else. Uh, I've had more bananas than I meant to have this week. And that's me looking for well, sugar, we've, really. So we've hardly scored crack and taken it, have we? <laughs> I mean, we're, we're looking at some very light, light <laughs> misdemeanors here. I mean, is this really as badly behaved as we've been? <laughs> no, but you know what? I'm I wouldn't even about... mention these things I've had if I had put them on a plate, sat down, eaten them and enjoyed them. What I'm trying to break the habit of is that subconscious picking. Because that, if you eat, if you eat good meals on a good sized plate, you will never put on weight. It's all the picking that does it. All our lovely subs, I want you all beneath this um, vloggery episode to put your own confessions. Confess yeah. all, because the reason I say that is because one of the things they get you to do in recovery when you're doing the 12 steps, not that I follow the 12 steps, but there are parts and bits and pieces of AA recovery that are very useful. And one of the things they say to do is make a list of all your defects and all the things you've done wrong. Just make a list. 
and then share it with someone else so that you get it out of yourself and so the shame goes yeah. and, and all the worry and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So this is a sort of slightly more light-hearted version of that. Just confess to us and all the other subs that are all pulling for each other exactly what you've eaten or drunk that you shouldn't have so then we can wipe the slate clean and start again. Yeah. And tomorrow we are doing our weigh-in, our live weigh-in, oh, don't forget. Shyster meister. I'm slightly concerned. What are your predictions for you? Where do you think you're going to be? Do you think you're looking well, anymore? I haven't, I've been very mindful with what I've been eating. I haven't overeaten. I haven't overstuffed. I haven't drunk a drop of alcohol, which has got to make... Hang on, I've got to say to you, actually, huge, a huge respect Aww. that you've got to two weeks of not having a drink. Oh, that's I mean, pretty fine when you've remarkable. done 15 years. And you've, and you've, not only that, but you have been out on a few, not okay, you haven't had a huge event, but you've had a few situations where you've had to be in sort of convivial drinking establishments with people who are drinking, and you've, I must admit, you seem, you've gone from that peak of frantic energy and you've kind of leveled out a bit, so you're, you're not, I wouldn't now say that you're more annoying without a drink in you. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? That's progress. Yeah, no, it is progress. <laughs> no, but I'm really, I'm really, I think it's oh, really good. You. I think you've done really well. well done. Thank you, darling. That's, right. That's really kind. So I think the fact that I haven't drunk and the fact that I haven't not at any point... I've had three over... bottles of vodka, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's my big confession. I haven't at any point left the table going, oh, I'm so full. And you haven't either. I've left many tables thinking I'm so effing hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm roaring with hunger now. Uh, um, but anyway. So that's all good. So there is a chance that I may have lost a pound. But I think at my age, at 54, without doing a serious bit, say three weeks of, of three days of, um, you know, some exercise. sort of aerobic exercise, because yeah. I've walked and stuff and I've stretched, I mean, I must admit, that's then the I'm one, not going to lose much more than a pound. That's the one element of my entire regime that has been missing, is apart from the running, is no other exercise. That has to change. That has to be the next era, I think, in our, yeah. in our We're going to play badminton next week. That's our promise with the kids. Are we? Cool. Yeah, because it's fun. Yeah. And you run, I want to do some. I want, I want to go to Zumba next Monday. I'm going to Zumba. I was supposed to be going tonight, but because we're going to this screening, I can't go. Zumba is really high energy. I want to start a hula hoop class because that is an amazing calorie burn. And with that thickening of the middle that you get when you get older, it's really good for the waist. Because I used to have a really small. I used to be. 38, 26, 38. But also hula hooping is a really important skill. What for? Well, you can it, you can use it in many multidisciplinary situations. Are you being a bite? Tit? Yes. Oh, I thought so. Okay, on that note, don't forget to check out our review on this movie we're going to see, which is called Mid-90s. It'll be up on the next in the next couple of days. All right, lovelies. Oh, hey, and if you've joined us for the first time, can you hit the like button if you like our films and hit the subscribe button too. Thank you. Bye. Oh, dear. Wandering through Chinatown now. Yeah, so we've parked the car further away than we need to be so that we For free. At this time of day, it's for free, which but is great. But mostly so we could get off steps. Yeah. Yay. But the we're downside. through Chinatown and the smell of everything is just... Do you want crispy uh, duck? Makes me Do you want crispy stop. duck? No. I want oh, crispy garlic. duck. It's the garlic. It's the fried garlic that gets you going, isn't it? Oh, maybe we should have just parked right outside the cinema. <laughs> yeah. So we wouldn't have our appetites opened. Very atmospheric there. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, we like China. We've just come back from the screening of the mid-90s film by Jonah Hill. So go over to the Popcorn Junkies Sorry. side of it. Directorial debut to see our review, which will be coming in the next few days. There's no rush because it's it's a preview. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And we were really excited about that today. We were thinking, God, you know, we're proper family. Yeah, we're reviewers invited to now. these now because we and do reviews. And so much of that is down to the fact that you subs watch us and like yeah. our films and stuff. So thank you, because it yes. is a bit of a dream come true for us yeah, that we get to go to these screenings and we're like proper reviewers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah no, it's lovely. We're really chuffed about it. On the way home, you may have seen on Insta stories Nadia tweeting about or Instagramming about the terrible story locally. Horrific. God, you sort of, you know, lives, sliding doors, lives. Basically, the station that isn't far from us, just whispering to the kid. Um, 
The machete wielding maniac. Machete wielding maniac running along the platform at eight o'clock tonight. Poor police. I mean, all they had were their taser guns. They had to taser him. And they had to taser him. Thank God they had that. Mm. We forget how brave our police are. No. They go out with nothing. And it's know? really weird. You know when there's an incident happening in our neighbourhood because you hear the heli- low flying helicopters at night. So. What is our neighbourhood become? It's, 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 it's a bit, a bit rough out there sometimes. But so um, depressing. In terms of the end of this vlog, where are we at with our steps? So the walk from the car to the screening rooms. I'm only about a thousand away. I'm how are 13, you? 13,524. How much? 13,524. How did you get that many? Because I walked to West Norwood. Oh, right. I walked around. Okay. I've been on my feet most um, of the day. It's a big day tomorrow. What? It's a weigh-in day. <gasps> live. We have lost weight. Tomorrow night at 7.30. Live, right live, here. live. Join us to weigh yours. If you're weighing yourself, great. Weigh yourself if with you us. If you don't want to, you don't have to. <laughs> weigh yourself with us. Yeah. Let's all weigh to, in though. together. Only if you want to. All right. But 7.30. All right. Bye guys! Bye!